good morning students welcome back to your evs class dear students this evs full syllabus has completed so we are revising once again from the chapter number first okay so go through every point what i am teaching you okay in previous class i have said that the two ways of plants reproduction vegetative propagation and reproduction through seeds so, so today we see the vegetative propagation what is vegetative propagation is the method of reproduction in which some part of the parent plants grow into new plants here we can see the few methods how the we how or we can grow a new plants from the parent plants or a main plant by the stem by the root by leaves by stem or by their branch we can say like roots sugarcane habacus like this plants we can able to grow by their stems okay come to the next page page number 2 potato potato are having the eyes buds on the potato so by the help of these things eyes and the buds in the ginger and the turmeric also we can find these things okay by these things we can able to grow a potato okay layering what is the layering we can see in the plants some of the plants are layering they are making a one layer two layer in the ground you can see in the picture simple layer they are having a one layer then the tip layer means they are having a very deep layer and they are spreading their layer compound layering they are having a many layers mold layering mold layering is they are moving towards down their roots are spreading down more air layering this is a way of air layering natural layering this is a natural layer layering okay now from the leaves how we can grow a new plant from the leaves in some plants we see the birds beauties birds on their leaves and that birds are falling towards the ground and we are getting the new plants okay from roots the roots have the capability of growing into new plants sweet potato is a root okay we can see that sweet potato is a root by the root also we can grow a new plant from sporous sporous are the unit of the sexual reproduction they are produced by the non flowering plants jo paudhe ya ped phool nahi de pate hain unke andar ye sporous hota hai by that help of that spores they are growing the new plant like bacteria fungi and the algae and are often able to travel over the long distance some plants such as ferns and the mosses do not bear flowers hence they do not have seeds to produce they produce by means of spores okay by the help of spores they are growing the new plants spores what is a spores are the very tiny bodies which lie on the underside of the leaves they are under the leaves okay inside they are covered very hard things or protective coats that enable them to tie over unfavorable environment condition when the time comes their favorable condition comes then the seed or that is spores fall down to the ground and that rises a new plants okay dear students i hope this topic is clear to you vegetative propagation your homework is you have to write the definition of vegetative propagation 
write the vegetative part of the parent plant how we can get a vegetative plants okay so how we can able to grow the plants by the various things so you have to write all the points how we can able to grow the new plants and you have to paste the picture of that thing okay i hope you have understood this both the question that one you have to do in your note copy okay you have to write above that revision okay thank you and have a nice day